Why does my microwave kill the Wi-Fi? Every time I start the microwave in the kitchen, our home Wi-Fi stops working and all devices lose connection with our router. The kitchen and the Wi-Fi router are in opposite ends of the apartment but devices are being used a little here and there. We've been annoyed by the instability of the Wi-Fi for some time and it wasn't until recently we realized it was correlated to microwave usage. After some testing with having the microwave on and off we could narrow down the problem to only occurring when the router is in B-G-N mode and uses a set channel. If I change to BG mode or set channel to auto then there is no problem anymore, but still. The router is a Zycel P661 HU. 802.11N wireless ATSL 2 plus 4 port security gateway with latest firmware, and the microwave is made by NEF with an effect of 1000 watts, if this information might be useful to anyone. There is an internet connection light on the router and it doesn't go out when the interruption occurs so I think this is only an internal Wi-Fi issue. Now to my questions. What parts of the Wi-Fi can possibly be affected by the microwave usage? Frequency. Disturbances in the electrical system. How can setting auto on channels make a difference? I thought the different channels were just some kind of separation system within the same frequency spectrum. Could this be a sign that the microwave is malfunctioning and slowly roasting us all at home? Is there any need to be worried? Since we were able to find router settings that cooperate well with our microwave's demand for attention, this question is mainly out of curiosity. But as most people out there, I just can't help the fact that I need to know how it's possible smile. Eight hundred two point one one B slash G slash N operates on the 2.4 GHC ISM band. This is conveniently the same band that your microwave oven operates on. This isn't a coincidence, both operate in the 2.4 GHC ISM band, because it can be freely used at low power without license nearly anywhere in the world. Many other RF technologies including Bluetooth, walkie-talkies, baby monitors, etc. also use the same band. Most microwave ovens tend to be very well shielded and will not emit enough radiation one to interfere with wireless communications. It is possible that your unit has a damaged shield. You could look into replacing it. That said, the amount of radiation a microwave has to leak for it to interfere with your wireless is tiny minus 0.01% of its output, roughly the same amount as your router or laptop, and far less than a typical mobile phone. A better thing to do would be to upgrade your wireless networking equipment and devices to be 5GHC compatible, used with 802.11A-N-AC. This is the other major band Wi-Fi networks can operate in, is capable of providing increased performance, and should not suffer interference from microwave ovens. You can tell if a device supports 5GHC by checking if it lists dual band capability, or supports 802.11A for example a slash b slash g slash n, or 802.11 acres 5 GHC capable wireless equipment is becoming more widespread, but 2.4 GHC remains common in older and lower end devices. Addressing your different channels, microwave ovens, which should label the output frequency somewhere, should use 2.450 GHC. Wi-Fi, B slash G slash N, channels typically range from 2.412 GHz to 2.472 GHz, with a bandwidth of 20 MHz, and a 2 MHz band gap. If you pick a channel from the upper or lower end, and assuming your microwave oven is precise enough with its frequency, you could sidestep it entirely. This is, however, just a guess. Source from Wikipedia When I must point out that 2.4 GHC is far from ionizing radiation, 
which is at least 2,400,000 GHC, the type that can harm human tissue and or cause cancer. Even if the shield is faulty, it will not cause any harm. Any, very slight, damage would be caused by heating, and not directly by radiation, which you most definitely will feel before any real damage. Also, just don't stand in front of it for hours a day. That always helps. Some countries also have regulations on the maximum energy allowed to be transmitted, ostensibly for human safety. There are other limits designed to reduce interference. Do note that such regulations tend to play far on the safe side, well below any level with concretely proven ill effects. Both microwaves and Wi-Fi operate on the same frequency, 2.4 GHz. In theory, a properly shielded microwave shouldn't leak any radiation. However, in practice, they leak quite a bit. Here is a blog post from one of the guys over at Server Fault. They took a frequency analyzer and looked at how various other 2.4 GHG devices, like microwaves and baby monitors, affect the Wi-Fi spectrum. This is what they found the Wi-Fi spectrum to look like normally. Those diagonal lines are the Wi-Fi broadcast. There is almost no interference, so they are clear and easy to see. This is what that same connection looks like with a typical microwave on. As you can see, the microwave causes some serious interference. To work around this, I'd recommend switching to Wi-Fi equipment which can operate in the 5 GHC band, like the latest 802.11N or 802.11 Acres routers. The other answers have mentioned microwave leaks. For anyone concerned, even if you aren't having Wi-Fi problems, an easy way to test this for sure is to put a working cell phone in the microwave and close the door. If possible, unplug the microwave first if you are worried about accidentally hitting any buttons and turning on the microwave with your phone in it, as that would definitely not be good for the phone. Then see if it can keep any kind of signal either by looking at the screen through the holes in the door if you can safely prop it up, or by calling it, or by trying to interact with it over 3 grams or Wi-Fi. I did this when I was testing an app that exhibited problems only when it lost a data signal, something that does not happen naturally very often in testing, leading to a hard to reproduce problem. I found that when the microwave door was completely shut my app could not longer talk over the data connection, but if I even pulled slightly on the door so that there was barely a noticeable crack it could. In your case Wi-Fi might be better than 3 grams, although I found my microwave shielded both of them. What parts of the Wi-Fi can possibly be affected by the microwave usage? Frequency? Yes. A microwave operates around 2.4 GHz. Wireless B, G in some parts of N operate around 2.4 GHz. Note that the microwave should be properly shielded and that the effect should be minimal. How can setting auto on channels make a difference? I thought the different channels were just some kind of separation system within the same frequency spectrum. The 2.4 GHz range for home usage, read, for wireless, Bluetooth, baby phones, some cordless phones, is a small range of frequencies. It could be, guess, that with auto channels turned on your devices move to either a less jammed 2.4 GHz channel, or possible even only to the 5 GHz band, often used by wireless M which can use both 2.4 and 5 GHz bands. Could this be a sign that the micro is malfunctioning and slowly roasting us all at home? Is there any need to be worried? Are you feeling slightly cooked? But seriously, yes and no. The microwave should be shielded. 
it should not emit any harmful amount of radiation. Unless you remove the door and manually jimmy the safety mechanism you are probably safe.